And we are back talking about decimal fractions. Decimal fractions, again, today we're going to be comparing and we're going to be using um, the uh, compare, compare signs that we see in math. And that would be the less than, greater than, and equal to. And those look like this. So you have this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to be comparing decimal fractions to, more specifically, um, we're going to be comparing them to the thousandths. And we're going to be using like units. So um, we're going to talk about that, um, kind of talk about what that looks like. And um, we should, this should be a pretty quick video. So first off, uh, I'm going to start with two numbers. And um, I'm going to do, let's say, let's, let's go simple to start with. We'll do um, uh, 13,000, okay? We're going we're gonna to do 13,196 compared to 13,296, okay? And because I've read it, I hope that that kind of helps you, but... Um, the goal is to um, make the arrow um, point to the lesser value, or um, if you think of it like an alligator, the alligator should be opening towards the bigger one, if that makes any sense. So in this case, um, it's going to be, with the way that we read it is 13,196 is less than uh, 13,296. And the reason being is because of this number right here, the two in the hundreds place and the one in the hundreds place, we know that this number is bigger and that's why, okay? So that is why that works. But now what happens when we talk about decimals? And so that's what we're gonna do next. Um, what happens if I have a number like uh, 0 0.012 and I'm comparing it to a number that is 0 0.002 um, and uh, the reason why we do this and this is really important is because eventually we're gonna have to estimate eventually we're gonna have to put things in order and this is all gonna be super important super crucial so I went ahead and made uh, just a little um, uh, box uh, place value um, diagram and table um, where you can put those numbers in. And you can do this on your paper too. Um, I'm going to do it in blue. I'm going to do uh, both numbers in blue. And so we have the decimal here and the decimal here. So I'm going to write the first number 0 0.012. And then I'm going to write the second number 0 0.002. And I'm going to ask myself which is bigger. Well, this is two thousandths, right? We know this is in the thousandths place. And this is um, one hundredth and two thousandths or twelve thousandths if we look at it like that too, right? So twelve thousandths, is that bigger than two thousandths? Okay, and because now some of you might be saying, hey, but these two numbers are the same. They are the same, but they are changed because of this number. And we can look at how we can compare those two. And so in this case, the number that is bigger is 12. So you can say point, um, 0 0.012 or 12 thousandths is greater than, now think of this as an alligator. Remember I talked about that, right? Here's like our little alligator. Hey, I'm an alligator. Um, is So uh, 12 thousandths is greater than um, uh, 2 thousandths. Right, so that's how we would read that. So let's try that with with some different numbers, because again, you're going to see a variety of of different things, and it's important to recognize. So I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do a fraction, and then I'm going to do uh, uh, I'm going to do one more that might be a little confusing for some people, but I kind of want to point it out. So the first one I'm going to do is um, 299 uh, thousandths, okay, um, over three tenths, okay. 3 tenths. So how do we write that in decimal form? We have this decimal chart down here for place value, right? How are we going to write that? Well, we know that 3 tenths, here's the tenths place, this would be 3 tenths, right? And you know what? I'm going to move it down because that makes more sense to me. So this right here, um, I'm going to block it out, would be 3 tenths. Um, and we'll make this one the top one. And that's going to look like 299 thousandths 
right? So looking at this, we might think, and here is where mistakes happen, we might think that this is bigger because it has more numbers. Don't think that. Look at the number that is closest to the decimal and compare those two because the way that we can also look at the three is we can also look at it as three hundred thousandths. And so in this case, the uh, three tenths or three hundred thousandths, these are the same thing, so I'm going to write that. It, this is the same as three hundred thousandths. Um, they're equal. Talking a little bit about fractions, um, is greater, right? There is our alligator. So um, 299 thousandths is less than, that's how we read it, read it less than uh, 3 tenths because 3 tenths is a bigger number, okay? Um, so th there's that one, and we'll try just one more and uh, see how it goes. So the last one I want to do with you is um, what if we had 0 0.4 um, versus uh, 0 0.399 versus? They're fighting. It's a battle to the death. No, it's not. But um, if we had both of these numbers, um, how would we write that? So we have the decimal here with the 4 and the decimal here with the 99. And again, this is like the last one. We can read this as 4 tenths or we can read it as 400 thousandths or we can read it as 40 hundredths. Doesn't really matter, but it does matter when we're trying to compare because we don't want to get the impression that because this has more numbers, it's bigger. Because it's not. It is not bigger. And so in this case, um, when we uh, compare these, the, we find that the four is going to be closer to one than the 399, right? So the four is bigger. And so therefore, um, four tenths is greater than uh, 399 thousandths. Okay, so those three, uh, three or four different problems that we tried, I um, hope that um, that kind of gives you a better understanding of comparing um, the decimal fractions. Um, good luck, and uh, we'll talk about this more tomorrow.